gut-wrenching testimony in the trial of the man charged with shattering the skull of a D.C. man. You may recall the story of T.C. Maslin. He was robbed and beaten as he walked home after a Nationals game last summer. Stephen Cheetah was in court today, and he's live now with what happened inside. Stephen. Leon, when prosecutors put up a photo of T.C. Maslin from his hospital bed, his face battered and bruised, his skull shattered. The 22-year-old man charged with inflicting those injuries, Tommy Branch, sat there casually, glanced at the photo, and took some notes. Now, we understand that the third suspect in this case has pleaded guilty, and he has told investigators that Branch went at Maslin with a baseball bat. The savage attack left young father T.C. Maslin with severe brain injuries, while the man charged with inflicting those wounds sat nonchalantly listening. The neurosurgeon who treated Maslin described the damage, a lacerated brain, shattered skull, and deep coma, the type of injuries which will likely leave Maslin permanently disabled. Prosecutors maintain of the three men charged with robbing and beating Maslin as he headed home on foot, Tommy Branch is the one who inflicted inflicted the devastating injuries. Branch's defense rests on two points. Investigators never found the baseball bat, which they believe Branch used, and raising doubts about the witness who implicated Branch in the attack. Meanwhile, we wait to see whether Maslin, who had difficulty speaking after he left the hospital, will be called to testify about what happened as he walked near Eastern Market in the early morning hours, August 18th. We do expect to hear from Maslin's wife, Abby. She will probably take the stand at some point in the next few days. Now, in a bizarre twist here, while this testimony was going on about this savage beating and those serious injuries, a woman outside the courtroom sat there doubled over, sobbing, repeatedly saying, he's just a baby. He's my baby. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.